right, we're gonna do an example of the Doppler effect and this time it has reflection. So if you wanna put a little star on your notes and put reflection there, that'll be helpful. All right, let's go ahead and read it. A siren of a fire engine that is driving northward at 30 meters per second emits a sound frequency of 2000 Hertz. A truck in front of the fire engine is moving northward at 20 meters per second. What is the frequency of the siren sound that the fire engine's driver hears reflected from the back of the truck? Okay, so the sound wave is going to leave the fire engine, bounce off the back of the truck, and come back to the fire engine. We want to know what it hears here. So that's what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to find the frequency observed at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our marker. So this is what we're looking for, the frequency of the listener. So this is how we do a reflection problem. So the first step is we need to figure out what the object that's going to reflect the sound hears. And that frequency that reflecting object hears is the frequency of the listener. And then that becomes the source frequency. So I'm going to have two problems and the link is the reflected frequency is going to be the same. So the listener frequency becomes the source frequency for my second part. So let's go ahead and kind of set up our problem here. So we're going to have to identify our objects. So I have my source and I have my listener. L to S is my positive direction. They said that the truck was moving at 30 meters per second and it's moving in my negative direction. The listener is our box truck here also moving to the right in this case or north I guess they said which is my negative direction of 20 meters per second. The positive and negative direction you'll remember we get based on which way is L to S. So listener to source is always our positive direction. And so to set that up the frequency the back of the truck is going to hear and then reflect back is equal to the source frequency of 2000 hertz times 344, the speed of sound, plus <clears throat> the velocity of the listener, so negative 20, all divided by 344 plus the velocity of the source, negative 30. This gives me the frequency of the listener. We can now take that number and plug it into our next equation. Frequency of the listener is going to be the frequency of the source. This is the reflected frequency that we just found times. And so now we just set up our dots again. So this time the fire truck is the listener because it's going to be bouncing back. And this box truck is my source. L to S is my positive direction, so VL is going to be positive 30 meters per second in this case, and VS is going to be positive 20 meters per second. So go ahead and substitute that in over here. So I have 344 plus the velocity of the listener, which is 30, divided by 344 plus the velocity of the source, which is 20. And we should then find our frequency of the listener. I don't know if I did that intermediary calculation. I did. So this comes out to 2064. They are getting closer together, so we should have a higher frequency. That is then reflected. And we hear something, they're getting closer together again, so it should be even smaller than that. And so our final, I'm sorry, higher, sorry, higher because they're getting closer together. The final frequency of the listener is 21, what was it, 2120 hertz. Okay. So there is our frequency for our listener. So that's how we do a reflection problem. It's really two problems that are linked by that reflected frequency, the listener becomes the source in that reflection process.